Hi, nice to meet you all. So my name is Jack Cockle. I'm founder and medical director of Ox Medical Simulation. We're a virtual reality medical training company. And the point of this is to take everything that we do in the physical simulation, I'm a physical simulation instructor by background, and taking that in to make it more accessible, increase throughput, and increase accessibility of simulation to allow you guys to focus on the fineries of human interaction, communication, and teamwork while we can get the basics of technical and non-technical skills down to save you time and to save your institution's money. And that is the basic focus of what we do. The way we do it is using fully immersive virtual reality. So this is about giving you the option to have student groups, giving them access to certain amounts of simulations. And you can do this on a user basis or on an institutional basis in terms of giving nurses and doctors groups of scenarios. And we do scenarios focused on doctors, focused on nurses, focused on medical students, and on pediatrics as well. So it's a virtual reality platform to cover all of those different angles. And then the user can choose to go in the scenario, and when they're in there, as demonstrated by Jenny here, they are in a virtual reality scenario. She is now completely immersed in that virtual world, and you'll be able to see that on screen in the background. So I'm gonna ask Jenny to do a few things. Jenny, can you just move around the room, first of all? and just have a good look around. So Jenny's moving around here, she's having a good look around, and she's got everything there that you would do in a normal sim center. So, in terms of the patient, uh, can we pop on some monitoring first, please, Jenny? So you'll see here that you can interact with the patient in terms of the technical skills, but also your team. So it's about that teamwork, and it's gonna be about the prioritization and the ordering of what you do as well. So, if you can just um, speak to George, please, Jenny. I'm just gonna sit. So, on screen, this looks a little bit more clunky. When you're in there, it feels real. So Jenny's just asking a question here. You won't be able to hear this, but she's asking about presenting complaint. And there's a huge number of things that you can ask. If we want to do an examination, Jenny can do a RESP exam, please. So, respiratory exam here. And again, if you just look at his back, I'll do the thank you. So all of this, she's hearing those sounds. She's getting totally immersed in that world. And she's hearing the sounds as she would do in real life and then interpreting the results of those symptoms. Everything that happens is completely adaptive. So what she's doing will change the course of the scenario. This isn't linear, it's completely dynamic. If we do something like a, a IV access, Jenny, if you ask the nurse to pop an IV access, and then you do an ABG, and then if you can go and have a look closely at the ABG as well. And we've really increased the fidelity of this to make it look real, but also to make it feel real. So you can do anything in any order, just to build up that sense that you are really there. Jenny will then get the results of all of these back. So the nurse is going to tell her with closed loop communication that she's gone off to get that to the lab. Uh, Jenny, if we do a mouth exam. And again, you can go really close and look at this in detail as well. <laughs> and you'll see there that George is beginning to look a little bit pale and sweaty because I've not done anything to, uh, to treat him, rather. So Jenny's now going to give him some oxygen and he's going to begin to pink up slightly because I've been a terrible doctor and not taught him anything. And as Jenny puts this on, he's going to begin to look a bit better. Now, in the interest of time, I'm going to stop Jenny there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the feedback that comes from this. So at the end of the scenario, everything that you've done is being logged, is being tagged, and is being timestamped. And so you can look then at every single scenario, and you can look at the learning objectives for that scenario, and feedback on what went well, areas for improvement, and you can link out to blended learning. And this is all completely adaptable to the institution. So if you guys want to teach different things from this, Simtex or SimFaculty, you can change what people learn from these scenarios. We can also work with you to design your own scenarios as well, and we've got a process for that. You also get all of the analytics from that as well. So you get everything in terms of what your students done, so they can see how they're improving over time, but also you can do that to prove ROI and be able to make the case internally up to the powers that be that this is something that's going to influence your practice, influence the way people perform, and ultimately influence patient care. And that is what we try to do at Oxford Medical Simulation. Thank you very much.